how do you do fishing freaks man today is going to be a fun little day i'm going to do a little bass fishing this morning and then i'm going to go meet up with my podcast partner jt john thomas earl larkin he's got a bow fish or a bow not a bow fishing a uh, archery competition here in town so we're going to go see him a little bit later and we're going to do some podcasting but since it's a nice little morning and he's off doing his little competition, I thought I'd get me some little bass fishing in, see if I can catch a, a good old January bass this morning, a fat one. So see if we can catch him. I need a little redemption after Sam Rayburn just took me to task. I just need to catch one juicy one this morning. I got a chatterbait tied on, nice bright color for this dirty water. I got some crankbaits and another spinner bait tied on. I might throw on a lipless as well. Let's see if I can find one along these rocks right here and see if I can locate any hydrilla. And if I can't, I'm gonna try to get in some old pad stems, which is one of my favorite, favorite ways to catch them on a chatter bait early part in the year, the old dead pad stems. I just did a video for MTB over on Rayburn where, uh, you know, I caught two nice fish out of the, the pad stems doing this chatterbait right through the stems. For whatever reason, they just, they get in there. Oh, golly. God, just lost a giant. Mmm, God, it sucks. Fish are probably six pounds kind of loaded up ah that was the one I wanted right there I just wanted one big bite this morning I don't even know what it was on I've been trying to get into some grass or something and hadn't felt anything just kind of loaded up on it first couple of real cranks just ran into some LFG fans over there Four of them in a boat, they, they said they're not getting any either. It's tough out here. This area right here, I know there used to be like a lot of lily pads. I'm hoping I can, I can find something on the bottom. That one fish I had was definitely in something. Like as soon as I got down there, there was either some old pad stems or a little bit of grass or something. I pulled it out and as soon as I pulled it out, it popped it. And it was one of those like, oh, I don't know, am I stuck in grass or is this fish? And then it started doing head shakes, came up and spit it. But got to find something for, for them to relate to here. All right, I'm going to try this one last little area before I got to go meet JT to do our podcasting this morning. Winds picking up big time. I think it's supposed to be really windy today. Forgot about that. If I had some more gas in the boat and some more time, I would probably go run a couple of patterns up north. But we are under the time constraints today. I know for a fact there used to be pads around in this pocket. There was in the summer, so if they're not in here, the stems, I, I, I'll be perplexed. Oh. Well, I just ran out of gas. And my trolling motor's almost dead. Very luckily, by the grace of the good Lord today, I'm very close to the boat ramp. So, I should have enough juice in the trolling motor to get over there. Gosh, you wanna talk about... That could have been bad. Could have been real bad, cause I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna go run, go run over here and try this one thing. And I forgot that I didn't have any gas in here. I, I thought it was really low. My gas gauge does kind of a weird deal and when it gets low, it it's hard to tell if you if it's out. So. Anyway, totally out, and uh, I better get on the trolling motor before I 
drift off. It's getting real windy and uh, the battery's almost dead. 10 minutes later, we are almost there and we are almost out of juice too. You can see I'm at 100 and I'm barely creeping along here. This is going to be very interesting getting it on the boat trailer. Slowly but surely, we're making our way over there. The other thing I have to contend with is the wind is blowing sideways. So I'm gonna have to time my entry onto the trailer and then I'm gonna have to pull the, the cord and pull the trolling motor up at just the right time. This is like some, you know, complicated stuff right here. Lift it up. Baby, get up on there. Oh, okay. First try was a no go. Oh, God, this sucks. <clears throat> try this again. Go. And it's on. We got it. Didn't get it all the way up there, but that's okay. It's close enough. Hopefully this will help some of you that might run out of gas one day. You'll be out on the lake and be like, oh man, ran out of gas. Now I gotta get the, the boat on the trailer with just the trolling motor. That's how you do it. And it's it was hard because I didn't have much power, but I did it. I didn't break anything. At least I don't think so. So at least that's a win for the day. Also, shout out to all the LFG fans on the lake today. There was like five of you guys. Thanks for coming up, saying hi. Congratulations on the new boat. Uh, one of you guys had a new boat. That's awesome. It's always better to see you out here on the water than through the internet tubes, you know what I mean? So I ran out of gas on the lake, had to come in. Then I thought I'd fly the drone around a little bit, just get some lake shots and crash that sucker. You guys missed that little tidbit. And uh, So I figured I'd come over here to archery competition today, see if I could just get shot in the face with an arrow. You know, the way it's going. <laughs> it just might happen. You guys need to meet old John Thomas Earl Larkin is my podcast partner. It's actually his podcast. I'm just on it. So uh, we're going to roll in here and see if he's winning anything and uh, introduce you to him. There's a ton of cars here. I don't see any people. Okay, I, I'm not going to get shot in the throat walking down there, am I? Alright, bye. Woo! Alright, he finally called me. He said, just head down the pipeline till you hit the targets and they'll be over there. Alright, this is my buddy, John Thomas Earl Larkin. What's going on? You've heard him on the podcast, but uh, this is him. He's in his jersey. He's yeah. pretty, pretty Dirty go, jersey. Man. Ready to go. So, uh, tell us what's going on here. We got. So, we're at the first state ASA qualifier of the year for the ASA and so it's a 3D shoot they have I think 20 or 30 shoots that lead up to state and so this is the first leg of that so how you doing today uh, not great but not, not great. awful all right Con well you don't want any of my luck trust me because they've <laughs> seen some bad stuff today considering I sighted in my bow this morning and <laughs> tuned it on the range shoot okay Dude, all right all yeah. right <laughs> You ever shot a bow like that, Justin? No. We'll let you shoot it after we're done. Okay. All right, so uh, this is like golf. What's going on? Yeah, kind of. So, okay, here's, here's the way we score these targets. Anywhere in the body is a five. If you're inside this ring here, it's an eight. This ring here is a 10. This and this are 12 rings. 
but you have to call the upper for it to be in play. Ah. So that's how we're scoring these. So then you got a, like a little pull action. Yeah. I, guess. I know nothing about this game uh, that they're doing here, but uh, all I know is that deer would have been dead. What pound, what pound are you shooting on your bow? It's like 74 pounds. Right 74 now. pounds. Guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can't even pull that back. But guess what? You want to see me try? We're going to see if he can do it. Yes, because he has convinced me. I've already made enough, <laughs> big enough fool of myself today. I figured why not one more thing. Yeah, surely you can. It's not a girl. <laughs> Give me the easy one, dude. All right, I'm going to show you this, though. Okay. So I have a, a rest on here called a lizard toe. Oh, yeah, I saw that. See how little it is? Yeah, it's a little tiny. So if you drop back crooked, it'll fall off. Okay, so you got to be steady. So you got to be steady when you're drawing it back. And I've got to like be able to bench press 800 pounds. To be able to We're going to let him use my thumb trigger instead of my back tension. So All right. remember, that makes it go bang. Yeah. So. Hold on, don't shoot. Um, well, I, I managed to pull it back somewhat. Okay. So just, oh man, your peep's like way over here. I can't see it. Ugh. Oh, fell off the rest. Hold on. Maybe All right, just, just let it down. down. Yeah, don't don't shoot it. Oh. <laughs> hey, he drew it back, guys. I drew it back. <laughs> Gotta give me half points for that. Look at this. <laughs> look at this little lizard tongue. How are you supposed to keep an arrow on top of that thing? Hey, just very carefully. Dude, you gotta have shoulders like a mule to pull this thing back. <laughs> Mad props, JT. Mad props. All right, we're gonna wrap this vlog up right here. It's me and Mr. Larkin, Mr. John Thomas Earl Larkin. We gotta do some podcasting this afternoon. So, I asked you guys on Snapchat, what do you wanna see? Uh, we're gonna find out here in a minute, and we're gonna do some podcasting. And if you want to check out some of these podcasts, just go to the link in the description here. You can check them out. Hook and Arrow. iTunes. I'm Hook. He's Arrow, if you didn't already gather all that much. Because I definitely ain't the Arrow. And I want to know, what is the worst day you've ever had out on the water? Because I just had a pretty bad one today. <laughs> and I want to hear from you guys, what is the, what is the most bad things that it's ever happened to you you know did you get bit by a snake did you you know bird nest every single reel what happened i'm sure jt's got some we might hear it on the podcast tonight we'll see you on the next one